And while we're on that topic, so I, I've really been enjoying, and I guess it's this Let's Play, do I have my thing? No, I don't. It's this kind of Let's Plays shtick by this point that, you know what? I'm doing it. That I use music from other games and, and substitute the music in this game. But one, a comment I've gotten repeatedly, and I, I don't say I don't appreciate it and like understand where you're coming from, because I kind of agree. Uh, but a comment I've gotten repeatedly uh, is that sometimes the music can be a little bit too loud, and I just kind of wanted to address that, because I, I agree, it's it's actually a very, very difficult uh, balance that I have to, I have to play, um, in that if the music is too quiet, well actually, sorry, I have to keep the game's music just loud enough that you can hear the sound effects, because if I mute the game, it sounds very odd, uh, but you can't mute you can't mute the sound effects in this game, or the the music. You can't mute the music, uh, which I actually really dislike. I, I wish that there were more options for that, but unfortunately, this is not Xenoblade, and Nintendo has a very curated experience that they want. That they they want the player to have, and that includes the, uh, in my opinion. Um, while atmospheric, n almost non-existent music, and honestly not often over. Not often great at said atmosphere music. Um, and so I have to strike this weird, this really difficult balance between you hearing the music that I would like you to hear, and you hearing the sound effects of the game, but not hearing the game's music. And I... I think that for the most part, I strike that balance fairly well. Uh, there are obviously times where the the um, pitch of the music or the tune of the music um, and my my voice overlap a little bit too much, and so it makes it a little bit difficult. But it's it's weird. It's oh wait, hold the phone. Whoa, whoa. We don't know what those runes are. We still do not know what the runes are. I also have a sneaking suspicion that Tulin is going to have a problem with me entering this snowfield, because this is actually kind of far away from the mountain. There used to be a Lynel out here, but now it doesn't look like there is. There's a shrine over there. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, I gotta do it. Uh, so... Weird, we still don't know what these are. But I was told that if I come to Rito, then I would eventually know. So, at some point, it's going to be relevant. I don't know how. Uh, this mountain, this little, this small mountain up here, in Breath of the Wild, it didn't hold anything. Not a shrine, not a boss, nothing. Not even a Korok seed. I think there was one Korok seed on the foothills, and that was it. So, I'm excited to see if there's perhaps... A Korok, or something more than nothing on top of it in this game. Maybe it's it's a huge thing. Honestly, it would be a great place for a uh, a, a great fairy. Oh, you're definitely here. Oh. Okay, well, we're gonna deal with you after the shrine, I think. That's an enemy. Uh, you know, this... This is an app for rockets. Thank you, commenters, so much. I love you. Mallet smash! Oh, I can already see what's happening here. Uh... Attach. Oh, wait, no, 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 that doesn't work. Boop. Perfect. Take a brief glimpse around here for the chest. Probably wouldn't put it in the first room. Uh... Unlimited rockets? Sign me up, please. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop... I'm gonna destroy this, too. Destroy fused. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Uh, now what? Not... I think I know what this needs to be done here. Rotate this. Put it... Here, I think. Yeah. Um, attach a rocket to the end of this. Rotate it. Move it up. There it is. This is a neat kind. Of, this is a kind of neat shrine. Okay, but the secret chest is up there. Okay. Um, what is the best way? thought that I could put a log across this gap and ascend through it, and well, that is an option. Quick shot, huh? That's actually kind of nice. Uh, we're gonna drop that. Well, that is kind of nice. It's, it's nearly as cool when I have an infinite number of bees. Alrighty, my Zonai device probably still isn't here. Wait, what is that? Is that it? No, but it's a different one. Okay. Not opposed. Okay, where are we going? Perfect, that's exactly where I would like to go anyway. Also, there's a maze over here. I wonder if Tulin will let me go into the maze. It's funny because I am kind of just at Tulin's beck and call, like... If he says he's not doesn't want to do anything, then I'm probably not going to do it. Although, I guess there's no reason not to do it. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we're going to attach this to there. We have our very weird car. Going that way. I don't know if this car is going to work. I've made janky vehicles like this before, but it's... Okay, maybe he needs to go back to the drawing board. It's not the best, but it'll do. It's not very fast. Truth be told, it's kind of a... Kind of drives like a bar of soap, but it's... It's fine-ish. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby, you can do it. It's so slow. This is why I don't like the tires. When there's snow and I can use the fan, but... I guess I had a fan in my inventory, didn't I? I could have made the perfect vehicle. I need to think about that more. I I have alternatives to auto build. I also can make unique things and then use auto build for them, so I should be doing that. Arr! And then I honestly don't care if the Korok eats my car. Are you gonna eat my car? Please don't eat cars. You aren't Lao. You're not a gasoline guzzler. And he didn't guzzle my gasoline. Sweet. What on earth is this? What is... What am I looking at? Oh, it's a... It's, I, I, for a second, I thought it was like Yeto. Yes, I'm going somewhere. Can you wait outside? That would be great. It's engraved with ancient Zonai text. You can't make out what it says. I need to remember that for when I can read Zonai text. Uh, adventuring. Day one. The Zonai glyph glyphs carved into the stone slab. Read. Oh. Perfect. The dragon ring slumbers in the labyrinth's depths. Wake it, and ye shall receive due compensation. Taro deciphered them for us, but has since run off to another newly discovered ruin for further study. Writing frankly, I see his absence as an opportunity. Any discoveries that may lie within will all be credited to me. My name will forever be tied to solving the mysteries of the Zonai civilization. I gathered a hall of Hylian pine cones and will use them to mark my trail in places where I might otherwise get lost. Which is awesome. Because that means I can fly. Hmm. Yep. Just stay right out here. Looks like he despawned. We have a maze. Now, it almost... It's indicating to me that all of these mazes are going to have... Um, are going to be three-parters. So... 
this being the first part, we do have the ability and the Zonai, or the, the, uh, Zonite, to go into the sky. So we can do two of the parts right now, unlike before, where we did one and then had to, you know, leave for a bit and figure out our, our inventory. I, I have, like, 92 Zonai left. That should be enough. I also have some rocket shields that I can make use of. And honestly, just a couple of hot air balloons will probably get me to where I want to go. Uh, okay, following the pine cones. Pine cones. Because I would like to read all the journal entries in order this time. Okay, I can ascend here, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, let's mark my map here. And go grab this Korok seed. Strong zone I sword. Neat. Whoa, Boulder City? Uh, this has to be something. Let's melt all this. Hopefully not die to the boulders. Okay, chest containing something of middling value. A zonite bow with quick shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, I'll throw that away. Well, I do have the long shot. I also have rockets, so... Got stuck on that wall. Um... Don't really care about that bow. No notes so far. This might be slightly different. I feel like I would have found notes already. Also, this gives us a, a nice supply of pine cones. We're probably gonna be set for the you know the rest of the game with these things. Uh chill shroom, randomly. Some designer just randomly decided, you know what? Chill shroom goes right there. Why did actually why would they do that? really weird to me. See, when, whenever I design stuff, whenever I'm, I'm doing game design, I always put, I always put knickknacks in places that I want people to go. Um, there was a point where I was designing a dungeon for my, my D&D group, and there's, there's some notes, and um, throughout the, throughout the dungeon, now, I guess this speaks to my lack of success, but it was something, it was a learning experience, at least. Um, I, I put a bunch of, uh, specialized, like, crystalline torches in a place, uh, because I wanted to lead them to this, like, simulacrum of the dungeon's creator that was scattered, uh, throughout the dungeon. There were a bunch of them. Um, they actually, it took a, a long time to find one, but in retrospect, they were like, oh, yeah, we probably should have followed that instead of ignoring it. Uh, after shivering in the cold and cowering in the gloom, this is day three, so I missed one, uh, I finally made it. The, this pathway leads to the center of the ruins. There's a trail of lights here that is almost beckoning me in. It must lead to that due compensation this lab mentioned. My history-making discovery is mere steps away. You can do this, me. And that, and he died. He is actually dead now. Uh, this is a hole, I think. Let's play Ring Around the Rosie. Oh, no, just a chest. Okay, so that's the place where we need to go. And we missed some notes. Mighty Zonite Shield! Let's go! I actually needed a shield. <laughs> More rockets! Hooray! Can I... I could probably pair those, can't I? I could probably combo those. Uh, so this is... A light. Lead in anything in, in particular. Unlike Breath of the Wild, there's actually less to be found in the shrines, which... Not entirely sure how I feel about that, but it's kind of nice to know that I'm not necessarily missing anything besides a little bit of lore. And the lore is ordered, so if you found them all, you know that you found them all. That's a little bit more satisfying than not knowing whether or not you you miss like an actual piece of gear. Okay, so I can go that way, but this is a slight detour. Another chill shroom. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that glow? There's like a switch somewhere. I don't think that's the shrine noise. I think that's the, um, like the activation ring sound effect when we get close to it. So I think right around this corner, there's, there's something, another pine cone. Um, there it is. Okay. All right, we found it. And I think I heard correctly because... I don't see anything. Uh, I can go up there. Hold on. Nothing. Nothing. Fat load of nothing. Oh, we were here. Interesting. Okay. 
Okay, well, but what was down here? This way. Ah! <laughs> I'm impatient. <laughs> I love that I can do that. That's that's awesome. I wonder if they're ever gonna use that in a puzzle. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mighty. Um, we'll drop this. Sweet. Okay. Now we can just climb back up and go up the stairs, and then we should be there. Survey says. I heard correctly. Yes, there is a switch and one more journal entry. Research log day four. I've done it. At long last, I've done it. I found a relic of the Zonai civilization, though my euphoria is short-lived. In the hours since my discovery, I've tried touching, hitting, and yelling at the re relic, but it remains unresponsive. I'm starting to fear that I may not unravel the secrets of the Zonai after all. The thought of the thought makes the even the cold or the cold even more bitter. Well, fine. I suppose it's time I crawl out of this frigid pit and issue my report on my investigation. Uh, you know, it might have something to do with the fact that you didn't melt the ice. Uh, actually, you know what we're gonna do? Uh... Drop. Hit. And then I'm gonna activate this while I wait. Mayo Taki Shrine. For you who conquered this labyrinth of the land, I, the ruler of owls, have un unlocked a door. Find it on the west side of the labyrinth of the sky. You know, in retrospect, this probably should have been my introduction to the depths of Hebra. It's very organic, but it is also, we just found it. I can't really control that. But, you know what, maybe, I, I think I'll, I will complete the maze in its entirety. I think that just makes sense. It, it ties up a loose end. Nice, we got a diamond. It ties up a loose end, and it's a cool quest to uh, have under our pocket heading into the story of Hebra. And now, it's high time. We went high up in the sky. 